Always great catching up with my next guest. He's finally got a fight. He's going to be fighting at PFL Europe 1, March 7th. It is right around the corner. It's uh, Jacob Kasba joining me here on the program yet again. Jacob, how are you? Good. How are you, James? Thank you for having me. It's, a, it's always a pleasure. It's always it's my pleasure. And uh, look, look at you taking time uh, out of your day to talk to me, of all people, which is great. But this is obviously a big opportunity here uh, back with PFL. Um, when did you find out about the fight? How much notice did you get? I found out January 9th. Oh, nice. So that was pretty much a month after my last fight, which was December 8th. Uh, and that was my first week of training back. And uh, after that, you know, I stepped on the scale and I was 195 pounds. Oh, wow. So uh, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Thankfully, my wife is a, is a nutritionist. And she said mathematically it's possible, so I didn't question. And I was like, okay, well, let's get get let's get to training. Yeah, that, that's what they always used to tell me in school. Trust trust the math. So uh, if you if you can trust the math, I'm sure I'm sure you're going to be fine here. Um, so that's good. Lots of notice, which is great. Um, and uh, is this the right amount of time off in between fights? Because uh, I know you know obviously you don't want to jump in too soon, but you also don't want to be waiting around too much. What was this ideal timing for you to have your next fight? No, it was too short. I didn't like it. I wanted more of a break. And uh, I wanted to have like this kind of uh, not as intense training for like eight weeks where I just kind of do new stuff and I don't focus on weight loss and strength and conditioning. Uh, but now I'll get a break till September. So uh, it is what it is. It just sucked with the weight, you know, the first two, three weeks because I've never done such a big cut, but it came off easily, easily. I mean, I was in the best shape of my life pretty much the month before that so it's it came out off easily and i feel great and i'm fucking ready for this next one i, I, can, I can tell man i can tell um and, and by the way where am i getting you right now i see you're in the car are you going to practice or where am i getting you today yeah i'm driving back from work so i thought i was gonna be home earlier but traffic was not pleasant but, but it I'm just goes much... to show the dedication you're willing to make to do this interview uh it doesn't matter if it's in the car or anywhere else you're gonna make it happen man so i, I appreciate that uh, for, for sure um let's talk about your opponent you're gonna fight a guy named kane i mean that's pretty awesome right remember kane the wrestler i always used to watch him back in the day with the mask and everything like that so uh um yeah pr- i never watched w- you never w- seen w- it go look it up after <laughs> this interview you'll know what i mean he's got like a red uh used to wear a mask and everything in, in pro wrestling back in the day but uh 19 fight veteran what do you know about him how do you feel like you match up against him here Oh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to devour him. That's the plan. I mean, I'm the new school. He's old. He's a bit older. He's smaller. Uh, he's going to make me work for it, right? He's got good footwork, so I'm going to have to chase him down. But once I chase him, you know, it's it's the same like it was with Tuke and John, you know, and they were longer opponents than me. He's shorter, so it's just a matter of closing that distance, letting my hands go, and then or, or taking him down because I believe I'm better everywhere. So, uh yeah, that's that's my opinion. There you go. Uh, training camp. Uh, who've been some of the main guys helping you get ready for this one? Oh, as uh, as always, uh, Trey. Uh, you know, he's a water in the UFC. Trey, the truth. Uh, and I got a lot of uh, local guys. I got uh, Walter Zavila, TK, uh, and they fight for Combat Night, the, the federation I fought yep. before. Yep. Uh, in Northern Florida. Uh, Michael Tovar, he also fights for Combat Night. So a lot of the local guys here in Jacksonville. And Corey Taylor as well. So uh, that's just some of them. I'm missing a lot of them. There's a lot of dudes, you know, helping me and focusing on me, which I appreciate. And I'm excited to, you know, they're, they're getting ready for fights in Maine, Jacksonville. So I'll be happy to give back my uh, uh, blood and sweat for them, for their camps. Yeah, no, that, that's good, man. Um, and by the way, how, how do you balance like work and training and stuff when you got a fight coming up? Do you just sort of taper off a bit or are you working right up until you leave? No, I mean, let's see. Uh, well, with work, I, I get a, it's pretty flexible, you know. I got a lot of time sleep, so if I need to have a day off or like extra training, I'll take it maybe once a week, you know. Take like a, do a half day at work and train hard and train an extra time, uh, extra hard. Um, but yeah, it's just, just gotta be, you know, I gotta, I have a tight schedule, so I gotta be prepared, especially when it comes to food, you know, I gotta have my food prepared, I gotta take it with me on the go, uh, so yeah, it's just, it's very manageable, you know, and, uh, I have one rest day during the week, and that's, you know, I chose it as a day in the, in the week when I'm working, so it's like, I just go to work and I come back home, which is today, yeah. actually, uh, but yeah, I, I train out on the weekends, which is nice. So, you know, I, I have two days where I just train and don't go to work. Uh, 
and then I take a week off for the fight week, right? Which is nice. Uh, my job is no problem with that, uh, as long as I got the time, and I do. So, uh, and you know, I don't, I don't train fight week anyway. I, you know, I just diet and and rest up, and there ain't much to do a week out before the fight. You know, it's just it's done by that point. <laughs> Is, is your wife going to be coming with you? Because obviously Paris is a very romantic place, or is it just business and you come back home? It's just business. We get always a day off after uh, after the fights to kind of chill. So uh, this time we bought tickets for the Louvre. So we'll go on uh, on Friday. We'll go to the Louvre for the day. Uh, last time we went to the to the oldest opera house in Paris. I forgot what it's called, but that was awesome. We went for a ballet because we both enjoy it. Uh, but other than that, you know that. The day you get there, it's pretty much, you know, I can't really do too much because I'm weight cutting. Uh, and, you know, my wife, she's my nutritionist, so, and she does my weight cut, so she helps a lot with the cooking and the, and the preparation. And, uh, yeah, we don't really have uh, a, lot of, a lot of strength or time to, to, uh, to you know, view, view the city, right? And especially, you know, PFL gives me a lot of media, too, that I got to do throughout the day. Uh, so yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, so we know your wife's coming with you. Who else is going to be making the trip as far as your corner? Uh, so my dad always comes. Nice. And he's like the Polish interpreter, so he can you know send me uh, coded uh, messages in Polish and uh, in my home in my home tongue. So my my, uh, my other two coaches can uh, can whisper him you know my secrets. Uh, and my coach Jean Bautista. He's a kickboxer from Rhode Island, and he's been he's been the game a long time. And my wrestling and jiu-jitsu coach uh, Roberto Quartero, nice. uh, he he runs the Gracie Bar here in uh, uh, in uh, in Jacksonville on on North Phillips Highway. And also there's one more coach, Coach uh, Preston uh, Parsons, right? He runs Elevate, and he's also a UFC fighter. And he trains with me. This camp, he's he's been. Uh, you know, he just got past the fight, so he's just trying to get back to himself slowly, which I totally understand. I couldn't help him with his last fight because I was, you know, after John, I was pretty beat up and, and tired, wanted to rest, so I couldn't help him either. But yeah, we overall, we try to, to, to help each other, and we do a good job of it. How's this fight playing out? You kind of said you feel like you're going to go out there and put on an outstanding performance, but how do you see this fight unfolding on March 7th? I'm going to, that's what I do. I can't, I come and I audit those fools. That's what I do. Just looking at the tournament right now, is there any fights that you want to happen? Like you want you want to see it take place? Have you have you kind of scanned who else is in the tournament and thought I'd love to have that fight? Is is there any fights like that for you? Yeah, I mean, pretty much the second fight after this one, uh, I I got the hard side of the bracket, which I don't mind. I had the hard side of the bracket last time too. I beat the two best guys in last year's tournament, and uh, they're not in this year's tournament, unfortunately. But uh, I'm excited to watch Chizov and that Italian guy go at it, and whoever wins will fight me, and and uh, that's gonna be. I'm excited for that fight. The other side of the bracket is uh, seems like they they give the English guy pretty easy bracket, uh, but maybe the German guy will. I think he might surprise everybody and beat him. I think, uh, and that'd be cool to fight a German. I'll gladly fight a German. Yeah, as a pull. I, I absolutely I can imagine uh, Jacob thanks again for doing this man I know you're a busy guy uh, if there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here any sponsors any social media uh, I'll give you the last word gotcha. I want to thank uh, I got two sponsors right now for free I guess I got uh, Octagon PL which is a uh, Polish uh, MMA gear company so thank you for sponsoring me and I want to thank uh, uh, Food Corner who are also sponsoring me and I'll be doing a thing for them in Paris uh, and I want to thank Caveman, who's my other sponsor, and uh, and I want to thank him for sponsoring me. And his best friend just passed away, so I just want to send my condolences to 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 him and and his friend.